Hey YouTube, it's Aaron and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark V standard and we're going to talk about what it is, uh, what it's capable of doing and maybe possible why maybe we should upgrade to the Mark V. Um, I currently have the Mark IV in my previous videos you may have seen me using the Mark IV a lot in some tutorials so um, this is maybe a, a uh, an opportunity to upgrade to the newest version and maybe possible more content for you guys off of YouTube. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here with our overview of what the Mark V is. The Mark V is their latest wireless networking auditing tool from Hack5. And if you're not familiar with Hack5, check out hack5.org. Darren Kitchen is their host there. Uh, he's the co-founder actually I believe and uh, Darren Kitchen uh, talks about how uh, in one of his latest videos that he had basically upgraded the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark V to double the CPU usage, the RAM, and even added two double antennas on this guy. And he actually added some other uh, uh, ports on this and capabilities of upgrading and, expan and expansion. So. Um, Basically, what happens here in the hack uh, in the uh, Wi-Fi pineapple is the features that it has is it has the dual root radio antennas here, and then it's also famous for the AR9331, the RTL8187, which you may be familiar with the RTL8187 from the previous Alpha uh, wireless cards. So um, it's twice the RAM, twice the ROM speed. You have the expansion of memory using micro SD card. You can always expand up to 30, it supports up to 32 gigs of RAM. Or, sorry, 32 gigs of the micro SD card slot for swap or storage in the FAT or EXT format. And then you have auto mode attack switches that are built inside this user interface. So you can simply turn it on and choose the attack mode that you choose to use. You have the simple web interface so you can easily deploy your attacks. You can download and add more web-based uh, capabilities and tools. Uh, usually it's just a, a one-click update. So you usually like the uh, Mark IV, I remember just plugging it into your internet connection and then just simply clicking update under the upgrade tab. So... Um, Another thing is that you have console access by TTL serial port now, and I believe it has a firmware card that comes with this. They're trying to make it completely unbreakable at this point now. Um, I've ne never bricked a, a Wi-Fi pineapple before. I believe I almost bricked a router before, but um, that was with DDWRT. But if you follow the instructions, uh, you shouldn't be able to uh, brick any type of device as long as you're paying attention and you're reading the instructions given uh, and then you got flexible power options so you have different types of power options you can uh, even run uh, batteries that can operate 24 to 70, uh, 72 hour 24 to 72 hours in runtime uh, that there's battery packs for that and then they also have support for uh, over 300 USB broadband modems now so if you're looking to attach a USB 3G broadband modem, most likely it's going to support that now out of the box. And then you have uh, support for S tunneling over SSH and VPN. This is a huge plus here actually that I like right now by just reading this. Uh, the VPN is probably going to be a huge thing. Um, SSH is really helpful too of course. Um, I don't do much, uh, to be honest, much tunneling over SSH unless I really have to. But having these uh, this supported is a huge plus. Uh, passive monitoring modes for logging and uh, mesh network capabilities. Uh, you have the ability to uh, use uh, available packages like Aircrack, DSNF, Ettercap, uh, HPing3. You know, the list is right here in front of me, Karma. You got Mac Changer. You have all these different types of even Reavers in there. Uh, you know, TCP dump. We know these kind of uh, tools, so we're used to these tools. These tools can be automated, so I'm pretty sure there's uh, switches in here that you can just switch it right on. And if it's the it's already configured, then you can go right at what you need to do out of the box. So 
uh, and out of the box it does support these uh, languages here the Python bash PHP and supports Ruby and Perl um, and here's the specs here we got our 400 megahertz uh, Authoros AR 9331 uh, and then we have 16 meg ROM 64 meg DDR2 RAM uh, the disk space here, like I said earlier, would support up to 32 gigs of micro SDs, either in FAT or X EXT format. It includes a 2 gigabit micro SD card for you. Um, and then you have uh, switch 5D DIP switches. You got two systems. You can configure up to three users. That's kind of cool, actually. Um, and then you can, uh, the wireless here is Authoros. We talked to AR9331 wireless N plus you have the RTL8187. So it's like basically your Wi Fi pineapple has a built in alpha wireless right in there. It's just like you don't even have to take your your alpha card with you. This, uh, you know, this Wi Fi pineapple will have that capability in there for you. Uh, two antennas, a uh, hundred meg uh, Ethernet looks like USB 2.0, micro SD, TTL serial expansion bus. So there's a ton of different options in here for upgrading. Uh, you know, in in this particular device, your power uh, they're able to manage the power and also uh, have the internal power supply added to that as well. Power LEDs, you know. Uh, you know there's indicators for that as well and then you have the accessories for uh, traveling with the Wi-Fi uh, pineapple mark 5 and other kits as well so uh, this is just a rundown of mark uh, 5 pineapple uh, just to give you an idea that it is now available if you're not if you did not know that um, I didn't know about that until probably yesterday um, I didn't even check heck five for a while so when I went to their website this was actually on the front of their website so um, give me your pointers give me your comments let me know what you think about the Wi-Fi pineapple mark five is it worth the upgrade should I wait for maybe the mark six um, should I stick with the mark four um, let me know what your options are what you think about your opinions and uh, let me know if you're gonna buy one you know maybe uh, you know Maybe you're going to end up upgrading from the first generation to this generation. So let me know what your uh, key points are and uh, keep me posted. Uh, appreciate you guys watching my YouTube videos and uh, staying up current with my YouTube channel. Take care, guys. This is Hacks Rate Team. Bye.